Ball in a Cup is actually one of the oldest games in history, but an official league wasn't formed until 1990. Twelve years later, the National Collegiate Ball in a Cup Association was created. Each year, ballers from all over the country gather for this highly competitive national event. Now, I've been wrangling this here ball into this here cup for about eight years now, and I'm real good. I got real good. And last year, I got to the championship where there was an incident. This year, that ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna win. Tex Tex does not do lose in Maki calendars. It's gonna happen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this seventh annual Ball in a Cup tourney. I'm your co-host, Steve McPherson, here with a beloved past competitor of the 97 tourney, uh, Doug One Ball Dudley. How are you doing today, sir? Pretty good, Steve. How you doing? I'm doing great. Doing great. Good. How long have I been in this business? Ten years, three months, 26 days? You know, who's counting though, right? <laughs> Can't all of you football broadcasters, but uh, you got to do the crap jobs every once in a while, you know. So. We've got a real barn burner of a game going on at uh, is it field uh, field one. Field one. Field one. What does this tournament mean to me? Everything. I like winning. I like winning at ball in a cup. I've been training with cup and ball since I was wee. Ladies, gentlemen, cup your balls. Well, here at the prestigious Laguna Beach Cosmetology School, we're all like required to take a phys ed class because like, we definitely want to stay looking our complete hottest. All right. And I really wanted to take jazzercise at first because like everyone who's anyone takes that class, like all my friends take that class. My roommate, she's such a biatch, she's hogging the computer, and um, when it was time for me to register, she was on it, and I missed it. And so Jazzer's eyes were like totally full. So instead, I decided to go with ball on a cup because like, I thought how hard can that be? You just like put a ball on a cup, duh. But then I found out after doing it for a while that I'm actually like really freaking good at ball on a cup. So I was like, this is effing awesome. And now I just want to win like all the time. Ah! Like, oh my God, like my makeup, this is so not professional. My dad was a champion, all right? I come from a long line of people who love cup and balls with ball in a cup. Ball, string, cup, it's brilliant, it's genius, I'm the master. And now nothing stands in Sam's way as she has reached the finals. The question now is, who will meet her there today? As I was walking through the valley of Tibet, I was searching for my true calling. And I was visited by the great bear spirit. He came to me and he said, I'll never forget that day. What that means is, here, behold the mighty Kendama. Learn its art well, for you are now its true master. So I took the mighty Kendama and I went to school I have mastered the Kendama, and now I will win, for I have the will of the gods. <gasps> God <gasps> damn it! Motherfucker! It became clear at a very young age that I was not quite cut out for contact sports. And after the chess team gave me many a swirly for being too much of a geek, I decided to fi focus my, myself elsewhere. Using my extremely high IQ, I was able to deduce that the best place for my talents was to be in competitive ball in a cup. This, that in fact proper thing is to instead of cosine, have a sine in here. And now you're making sense. This equation will correctly accurate the ball's trajectory into the cup, thus All right. I'm just gonna level with you. They gave me a scholarship to put a ball in a cup. It was a pretty easy decision. Do I really want to win? Do I really care? I don't know. Season finales are over. Friends have all gone home. There's nothing better to do.
appears that uh, it seems that Melvin Holthausen has dropped his ball and cup. Uh, not quite sure what kind of technique he's trying to do there, Doug. Mm, duh, I mean, Steve, he's not really going to be scoring too many points there. I mean, I, generally you want to have your ball somewhere near your uh, near your body there to score some points. He's, he's not going to rake up too many there. No, he's not. Yeah, I believe that's it. That is the tenth score, and uh, Lucy Campbell is now moving to the finals against the champion Samantha Tuomi. Oh my gosh, now it is six to six tie game. Who knows what will happen next. Now see, in a tie, that means uh, both competitors have the same amount of points there, Steve. That, that's right, Doug. All it is is putting a ball in a cup. Some people think it's not a big deal. They just pay me to come out here on a Saturday, do a little refereeing. You know, I, I, maybe it takes a little skill, there's a little talent, you know, it's, it's a fun to watch sport. And hey, maybe a little bit, all of us played a little ball in a cup when we were kids. But, you know, it's not like it's the greatest sport in the world or, or something ridiculous like that.